All right, here we are again, live in our surgery center. Medical team, Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. This dog just uh, came in. I don't know if it was uh, today or yesterday. I think it was yesterday. You can see how severely matted it is. Uh, Dr. King and her medical team are in the process of grooming this severely matted dog. An older dog was picked up as a stray. They are halfway through. <laughs> we got like a, a two-face going on here. One side does not match the other. So this is the side that they have already groomed. Uh, don't know the situation on this dog, a soldier dog, that was picked up as a stray. He does have a mass down there. Um, of course, if, uh, if there's an owner for this dog, we'd like to reunite them if that's possible. But given the condition this dog came to the shelter in, we think that's probably pretty unlikely. But I uh, want to show you what's going on behind the scenes, make you aware of this dog. Um, be great to get uh, something lined up as far as a uh, foster home, a rescue organization, uh, any interest in this dog. I don't have the dog's name or identification number, but wanted to uh, show you the situation uh, of this dog, the before and after. And uh, here's Alex going to get him over on his other side and continue the grooming. Dr. King, is there any, uh, Dr. King is here again, and Melissa, and Alex, whoa. He's gotten some um, medication to make this process a little bit less stressful for him, so his mentation's a little off. Um, but these mats can be really painful. Um, I was telling them a little earlier, I feel like the mats haven't been going on this dog's whole life in the sense that like they're not tight down to his skin. I think maybe he's just had a rough go for the last couple months or so. And so uh, maybe this dog got away from his home and has been fending for himself for a little bit. So hopefully we can help find his owner. Yeah, and I think that a lot of times when dogs come to the shelter in this situation where you see them severely matted, it's easy to assume the worst and assume that this was uh, neglect or intentional. And many times that is the case, but many times it is not. Many times uh, a dog like this will get loose from its house for whatever reason and get completely lost and be on the streets uh, or wherever for quite some time. Longer it's on the streets, longer it's away, the worst condition it gets into. Uh, the owners may be looking for it and just the dog hasn't been found or they're not able to find it yet. So it's important not to jump to conclusions and uh, just make assumptions because, you know, although this is a sad and unfortunate situation, so what we want to do is make you and the community aware of the dog. Uh, if it has a loving and caring owner that's been looking for it, worried about it, we want to get it reunited with that owner. If that's not the case, of course, we want to find a safe place for it to go out of the shelter uh, through adoption, foster, or rescue. So uh, again, thanks to uh, Dr. King and her medical team. Again, this is one of these things that happens uh, behind the scenes every single day here at Kern County Animal Services. Of course, you saw us post about the dog Augustus that came in infested with ticks, had to get a blood transfusion. Augustus is doing wonderful, by the way. He's actually up in our uh, first room of adoptable dogs. He's in kennel AD 44. We want to go take a look at him uh, and consider giving him a home. And we'll provide the, uh, we'll update this post with the dog's uh, ID number and, um, you know, uh, make that available so that uh, if you'd like to help this, uh, this older dog, Dr. King said, an older dog does have a mass down there a little bit. You can see, I don't know how well you can see on the live, the slightly cloudy eyes. Don't see what the teeth look like, but... An older boy certainly has uh, uh, been through a rough couple of months being in this uh, condition, but he is now uh, here getting the, the best care he can get from yeah, our so medical his staff. Ear is like attached to this mat on his side. So as you can imagine how miserable it is right now, and then to think about just being covered in this matted coat and, and in having this, mobility issues. And, and in this heat. Yeah. 
you know, that's... <laughs> I'm like hot right now. I'm in the AC <laughs> right. and I don't have a big old coat on, so... And even though he, he has been, you know, uh, given some medication, slightly sedated, his eyes are open, you know, as you saw him standing when we started live. And he's being a very, very good boy. He's a good boy. So... The medication, again, is just mostly because I have a tender head and I know it hurts for me to brush my hair and that's a side of all these mats and tangles and stuff like that. And so we just want to make sure that it's comfortable. I think he's obviously been groomed before. He's a breed that would have been groomed in the past. And so I was kind of hoping that I can just give a little bit of medication, make sure it's not uncomfortable for him and be able to, um, because he is an older guy, not really comfortable putting him under complete under an under complete anesthesia just for a grooming you know i would if i had to but and what 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 breed would you give him just based on looks i mean and... poodle he looks very poodly he could be a doodle at least partially poodle it's very poodle coat uh, so like a standard poodle So the second half is coming off. Here's this is what that dog was dealing with in this Bakersfield heat. So glad to get, have that off of him. It's going to be a lot more comfortable, a lot more cooler. So uh, thank you for watching. Again, uh, we will update this post with the dog's uh, ID uh, information, uh, location it was uh, found in. And uh, one way or the other, we're going to do everything we can to get this dog into a, uh, uh, a safe place so that it's uh, the rest of his days will be the best of his days. So Kern County Animal Services, 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for being a good boy. You're in good hands.